Hello and welcome to audio mod tutorial uh, number 5. Uh, what we're gonna see in this next tutorial is uh, again very simple because audio mod is very simple with a little uh, tweaking thing that you'll need to learn but is very very easy especially if you used sound programs in the past. Uh, what we're gonna do is get some audio in uh, audio mulch and process it with uh, delay and apply a compressor to it. So this is a video so if you've never done it before don't be afraid to press pause, uh, watch the video, watch the windows that I'm using, try to open them in, at your place. If you have any question you can leave it in the comments, I'll reply. Um, so you go to audio mulch preferences, for me it's all set up so I won't have to change anything but I'll explain what's going on here. You have the first, uh, the first option is uh, your general audio settings which lets you decide the sample rate that you're gonna play at which standard is 44.1 above it uh, it can't fit on a CD so I wouldn't use it. Um, audio driver, uh, the, the audio driver is actually the, the most important um, part for us right now. Uh, you have your input device which has a drag down menu with all your different um, audio uh, cards and same with the output device. Here you have your buffer size uh, which gives you your sample rate. Um, this is not very important right now, leave it on whatever it is. Uh, use 512 tops uh, uh, 1024 um, because otherwise it's just gonna use too much CPU. In your audio input, which is the second important part, after you decided what sound card you're gonna use, you have to map it. Uh, for me, the, basically your basic inputs will be in your sound in module, which is in the input output um, right here. Um, what I did is connect both my number one inputs to uh, the sound in because I'm using the first channel of my mixer which is mono so I will probably use just the left outlet and the other ones are mapped um, however I want. In the audio output you have uh, the same with exactly the same outputs which will touch when we get to um, connecting multiple sound cards to your computer at once tutorial. So you press OK, it does whatever it does inside, it's all binary anyway, and you get your sound in uh, module in. So you connect it to our gain module, we're gonna use a toy piano I built, um, I tweaked to be connected to my uh, synthesizer so it's gonna be a bit funny, um, but this is basically how it sounds. <laughs> Voila, this is the welcome music. Um, we have sound going in, going out through our mono uh, um, mixer. Everything is totally fine. Now, let's connect. Now, to, to connect um, effects, as you know, you just go to insert. Effects, we're going to put the delay in because, well, it's easy. And we're going to go through uh, the delay. Uh, uh, options. So you have stereo delay, which will go from, uh, which will just delay regularly to uh, left and right at the same time. We have ping pong delay, which will send your left input to right, then back to left, then back to right. Same with your right output. So it's actually gonna um, kind of do an infinite sign uh, motion. You have the ping left, so this will um, kind of delay on your left side more, and this will delay on your right side more. Um, it's a little bit hard to explain, it's based on tape delays uh, made in the 50s and the 40s, but basically that's about it. Uh, you have your feedback, which gives you the percentage uh, of the volume at which the line is gonna go back, um, loop, after every time you make a delay. You can choose it in milliseconds or uh, sync it to your BPM. Uh, then you can manually change your left and right times for the delay and you have a wet dry mix button. This is how it sounds. 
so this is with a little bit of delay. This is... This is without. That easy. Now let's sync it. That's it, actually. You just play around with it. With guitar, it sounds really good. Now, a little trick I can tell you is that if you put your feedback on, uh, let's say, 95 or 99%, then it's going to feedback but change uh, during the course of time. So it actually could make really nice ambient sounds. Uh, with guitars, it works much better than with my little synthesizer. But um, it could be done with anything if you know how to, to get the sound out right. Um, let's just connect a compressor to that and then we'll finish. Um, the, the compressor is in the Dynamics. Um, it's called M Compressor. You have your input gain, your makeup gain, um, all of these which you'll just have to play around with to, to understand how they work. And this is a demonstration of um, how a little bit cleaner it is than usually. So now we're with the delay, but... And we're on 96%. Well, basically, that's um, Audio Mulch tutorial number five. Next time, um, we'll connect multiple sound cards to your computer, um, small Mac tutorial, uh, which is very useful for Audio Mulch because it allows you to uh, output however you want to as much uh, outputs as you want. Goodbye!